Hello and welcome to another exciting video. In this one, we'll be learning how we can handle errors which may occur when we are doing HTTP requests. So over here, you can see that we have our Pokemon info component, which was actually calling the fetch Pokemon. Now the fetch Pokemon was asynchronous in nature and it was returning a promise and based on that we were getting the data for a given Pokemon. What we are doing over here now is, first of all, we have introduced a new status. So we are initializing it with the idle state. So here we have the idle state and the status. Then we have the usual Pokemon set Pokemon and another one which is taking care of the error. So we have error and set error and we have initialized it with null. Now within the react.use effect we were, where we were making use of the fetch Pokemon, you can see that when name is not entered, we are simply returning it and if Pokemon name has been specified, we are setting the status from idle to pending and then over here we are calling fetch Pokemon. Now within this, what we have done is, let's say I have erroneously made this nam variable now instead of name. So obviously this is going to fail and here it is going to return error. So this whole thing will return an error and what will happen next is when we'll get this fetch Pokemon over here in our Pokemon info, you'll notice that we have now error data as well. So earlier we were just having the Pokemon data but now we have also introduced error data. So when an error will occur, what it's going to do, we are making the status set to rejected and we are also setting the error using set error and we are passing this error data over here which we are receiving from the server. Now once we have done that, in idle scenario, we will get the result from the server and we'll display that data over here in the browser. Now here we are doing some tests like if the status is idle, we'll just print this submit of Pokemon. If it's rejected in case of error, that's what we are doing. So when error is rejected, we are simply printing this oh no. And if it's pending, we are showing this three dots. So when it's in flight mode, the request is being processed, then these three dots will be shown. And if the status is set to resolve, which we are setting over here, when the fetch Pokemon returns everything properly, then we are showing this data. So now here if I go ahead and as you can see in fetch Pokemon I've set it to nam instead of name and when I'm trying to submit this you're getting this value oh no. But if I go ahead and make this name over here and then I click on submit. So before doing that you can see that it's initially saying submit a Pokemon. So in idle state it shows this message. Clicking on submit after entering the Pokemon name and here in the flight mode it showed three dot and in the result state it is now showing the value. So over here you can see that we have introduced this error data and set error state to take care of the HTTP errors that occur during the HTTP request process.